Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, look at it, it's the afternoon. It's gone a bit dark, then it come clear, now it's gone dark again. So we've been informed that some ugly weather's coming. Probably my ex-wife is up there, I think. Two years some days, it's as ugly as my... Oh, it's gonna rain over there. Right, so I've cut this up with a chainsaw into manageable pieces. These ones here, I brought the bolt cutters up, so I cut the wire off. And we're going to put those into a position where the babies can jump on them. And this here I'm going to cut off a bit more flatter so that they can jump on top of that side of things. So boy is clearing this away. And we'll take some of these coconuts down to the chickens, cut them in half. And the chickens love love the uh, the meat inside because it's like a natural dewormer to them. Like fucking grease guns, mate. Goats love it as well. So chicks got all the babies out. Hello, Pat Pat. Good afternoon. So look at these. Right, so the two orphans have got the gold around their neck because you can't tell them apart. You know, it's like, have a look at this. Look at that, you can't tell. So, well, apart from these ones, have got grease guns over their backs. So the two orphans have got a little, gold little gold necklaces on. Okay, so that's normal. Black Betty's over here. Who's, who's got, Lily's always on the lap. Lily's a lap dancer. Lily with uh, Billy and so Lilf. Who's this one here? Brown sugar. That's brown sugar. So where's oh there he is up under there. there. Is, uh, Rocky. Rocky. The rocks up underneath. The rocks up underneath. And um, of course they're still shitty shitty because they're still drinking the. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be cleaning them. I have the oil. You gotta clean them. So Chick cleans them down. Believe it or not, is uh, she's got a bag full of tissues here. She cleans them down and uses oil on them as well cleans it all up and they'll be all okay so they're the three that we've got to pick names for we haven't got time today so um we'll have to do it tomorrow baby yeah. we just haven't got time and um I ha we have a big birthday shout out you got a big birthday shout out let me yeah, come closer he's been a very long time subscriber and a supporter uh in the original from the original Anasi farming channel Christos Tatarakis! It's his birthday today! Happy birthday! Happy, if I may say, 53rd birthday! Oh, he's only a baby! He's only a baby! Happy it's like birthday, you know. Christos! So, Christos' birthday today! Happy birthday! Hello, little one! <laughs> so, these are the two that we have inside the house. They'll stay there for a couple more days yet. We want them to be, um, uh, what do you call it? A bit more stronger. Yeah. I think is the wording. So how many we got now then? We've got um, 11. 11. So 11 babies now is what we've got. 11 babies. So there you go. Happy, happy, happy. So I said the only way we can tell them apart, guys, is to put necklaces on them. Right. So we're going to get back over here. Right. Tell boy to hang on a sec. Boy. Wait. Oh. <laughs> so this is our lovely weather like sunshine here and see all the rain across here see it down through the trees it's going to hit us any second now it's the rain coming through, through here so i've still got my girls out there chicks taking the babies inside i've cut this off flat for them to jump on and uh, these will get turned around got the bolt cutters here this will get turned around down and this will be their little play area but um that's coming there now and it's going to hit us any second where's my goats They wait till the last minute till they're getting soaking wet, then they come in. Hop, 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 hop. Here they come, behind the bushes. Hop, 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 hop. What I'll do is I'll get them in now, and uh, as soon as this passes, we'll get them back out again. Ah, fuck my dog. Seriously, welcome to the Philippines. Hop. Here they are, here they're coming back now. So once you train them, they're okay. Or how to train your dragon. You know, look at this, here it comes. Fucking rain. Shit. Come on, girlfriend. Come on. Hep, hep. You go back out after. Shit. Shit. Come on, girlfriend. Should have been eating instead of whinging like a bitch before. Shh. Come on. 
Come on, hip! Oh, I'm getting out the rain. They can stay there. Hip, hip, hip! Come on, girlfriend. Get back out later. Your babies want you. Come on, quick. Quick, quick. See, you can train animals. It's not hard. It's not hard to do. Well, it's starting to clear up. Bloody hell, eh? Shit. Right, so the rain stopped again. Yeah, don't know how long for, but not too worry. Right, so what I'm going to do is cut all these ties off of all through here, and we're going to retension all these again on top. So hopefully the rain stays away. That's a pain in the ass. Seriously, welcome to the Philippines. Lovely place. Right, onto the fence trainers. So I've got the first one on. It's nice and tight. You beauty. You beauty. So was it snapped off? When I was untying it here, but I still had enough to tension that and still have enough to run around. So it might still work. Right, that's number two in place. Ye little beauty. Now see if I can get this one up again. It will work. It will work. It just takes time. Go slow and do it right. You know? Make sure if you're gonna do any fencing, make sure you get yourself a good set of fence strainers, guys, and good fencing pliers. You get these on uh, Amazon and all that type of places. Okay, good fencing pliers. They've got the hammer on the end for using your um, staples if you're onto wood. You've got your cutters, you've got your grips, and you've also got the, the handle here on the side. This is good for actually getting around your wires and use it as a leverage for twisting. There's a lot of things this is good for. This one here, a lot of things it's good for. So get yourself a good set of strainers and get yourself a good set of pliers. Right, all fixed, guys. Would not have even known it's happened, you know. So this is this is yummy, 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 yummy. Look at that. Let's take that right out through there. This is much. This is pulled up from here. Amazing shit. Even here, look. Oh dear. Right, that's done. I'm just going to do this end one here now. This has come off by itself. Different job. So I'll just get that one done as well. We have got the fencing gear here. Bloody faints. That's it. All right, guys, so this one here has got a lot of fronds falling down on top of the uh, house, the goat house, and it makes a lot of noise, rumble, rumble, rumble. So what I've got, I've got the big bastard out. This is the one that Andrews Martin sent us, uses the brush cutter. It's um, two-stroke, powerful as hell, cut through grass, easy half a metre high, no problem whatsoever. Hey, leave her alone. Cut through, you've got the different attachments on it. One of the attachments is the uh, chainsaw cutter on the end so it's quite easy for me that I can just stand down here and just chomp chomp and just cut these straight off look that's how that's how easy it is to reach so that stops these <coughs> see the coconuts are falling on the roof here fucking coconut trees so my eye get rid of a whole fucking lot but I don't have my way so just have to tolerate it suck it up buttercup as we say all right we'll pick these ones up and uh we'll go back around the other side Right, so all the back's done. So we cut off the uh, coconuts that were there, off that tree we cut down, we put it down here for the birds and put some out here for the goats tomorrow. And uh, they, they pick it right through. It's a very good natural dewormer too. Turns them into a grease gun. So that was done. So I've just finished milking the goat and uh, I've got two, two and a half bottles out of that. But when I was walking down the pathway, Sam's sitting there and he smells that milk straight away. He used to come up to us while we were milking him and actually squirt him in his mouth. And uh, so Sam was walking along the pathway here to me, licking his lips like, I know what you've got in there. And it's like, <laughs> I know what you've got in there. <laughs> and um, so I filled up two bottles for the babies and uh, there's half a bottle left. So I put that in his milk tray for him. He swallowed the whole lot to come back looking for bloody more. Right, so I've got to get the animals fed. So now it's feed time. Chicken grower and corn. Oh, fuck, it's nearly five o'clock. See, you, long days, but I tell you, you gotta keep busy, you know? You gotta keep busy. Come on, little babies. Come on. All right. There you go. 
What's the coconut? These age bonds are getting big. These ones we got off the stew. There's two of them. So this guy, he looks after this area here and stays away from the big guy. And he shags everything around here. That's what he does, he's shagging on. He knows he's shagging on this time of the day. Ah. Uh, uh, well, broke the leg off it. Fuck the boy, dog. There you go. Alright, oh, Vietnam over here. Hey Vietnam, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Vietnam. Done. Oh, hi, big girl. Got the wobbles up. Hey. Oh, I don't know, darling. The other one is the one who gives us those big eggs. Is that a big one? Right. There you go. Big red. Got to cut his hands off tomorrow. Oh, what are you done for fuck's sake? <laughs> fuck's sake, mate. Hey. You. Uh. What? Yeah, the one thing that gets it leads a, bit of, a little bit of this. They can get stuck in here and that will just get twisted up. You alright? Okay. He's sexy boy, this one. Come on! I don't know why you go outside for when there's food inside you, dickhead. I really don't know why. There she goes. So this big girl here... She, oh, that's her eggs, the big egg, look. That's from this girl here. She's a big egg. Hello, Silver. Still cranky bitch. Still cranky bitch, as always. Silver. Fucking psycho. See, some, some chickens are really, really friendly as hell. You know? Like, really friendly. Some are just freaking psychos. Absolute psychos. Right. So, the turkey who kills out, turned into a chicken fucker, that's him. So he's, he's in quarantine because he jumped on one of our little baby girls probably about this size here, half size. And he's right down here and he shagged the guts out of her. So he's now in quarantine. You know, I'll work out what I'm gonna do with him. I'll probably stick him in. He's a blind girl. So this is my blind darling, this one here. I have to keep her in here because she keeps getting shagged by everyone. You know, that's how unlucky she is. She keeps getting shagged by everyone. Right. Here you go, give it a bit more. There you go. Right, I'll just have to do all their waters now. Alright guys, it's been a bloody busy day, but I wouldn't have it any other way, I tell you. Now I'll get all their water done and then I'll settle down for a Bundaberg and rum at the coke. Bundaberg rum and coke at the gate. Why? Because I can. And thank you to all our supporters who look after us on the farm. We really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to say, hit the like button. Please, get that like button. It's just a pick up your finger and go fucking beep. That's all it is. It's not rocket science. What is rocket science? Remember that on um, Judge Judy. Judge Judy, she was this blonde girl that was before her. And she goes, well, it's not rocket science, you know. You do know what rocket science is, don't you? Says Judge Judy. And this 19, 20-year-old blonde goes... Um, yeah, that's when they put men into space. She just looked at the, uh, the big security guy next to her and just goes, see why some mothers eat their babies at birth. <laughs> All right, guys, going to love you and leave you. Hopefully the rain has stopped, but weather forecast says that tomorrow and the next days there's going to be rain. Polly, leave them alone. All right, guys, love you and leave you. Thanks for watching us on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines. Hit the share, hit the subscribe, hit any bloody thing you want. Ta-da, guys. Bye.